Hey, yeah. So when I left, left you in Salem, I thought I was finished, but this will be part two of my experience with Jersey J because there's something I forgot and there's something Miklos wanted to say. You know, I don't know what it was about that man, Jersey J, but Miklos never liked him. He barked every time he saw him. He didn't appreciate the hoodies and the battle rattle and all the dark clothes. And um, anyway, he didn't appreciate you throwing rocks at his mama. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, it's still Saturday, August thirteenth. I've got my Chinese American support trucker shirt on. I'm not sure what's up with the Chinese Americans. They seem to play. I I heard some stuff. They they seem to play some kind of deeper role than what it appears. Um, so where I we le I left off in my experience with Jersey J is he had thrown rocks at us with his car. The dog barked at him. Um. There was another lady stand with, with me. I didn't have anything to do with Jay after that. And, but the next day while I was preparing to leave and I was having a conversation with my neighbor, Chris, I was packing up my trailer, you know, taking care of business, ready, getting ready to go, hooking up to the truck and, um, have, and Jay, Jay was just, all around up on freedom hill looking down yeah jay i saw you up there we knew you were there chris knew you were there but you know what we didn't care because we don't have anything to hide but then i saw the video i saw the video of you stalking me i saw the video of you zooming in on chris's trunk and you saying that you were some kind of plant in that camp. That was so creepy, Jersey J. Sitting up on a hill, spying on old ladies. For what? Is me and my dog. For what? Why are you spying on me? It was creepy. And I already didn't trust you. And... Yeah, I for sure don't trust you now. And, um, people keep feeding me information about you. I, I'm not sure why, um, but they keep feeding me information about who you really are. And it's interesting. I don't know why you felt the need to pick on me. But I think you're a snake, Jersey J. I think you're a snake. I think you're two-faced. I think you're you're scrambling. Um, surviving. And I think you'll do whatever it takes to make sure you get your needs met, no matter who it hurts. And that's a shame. But anyway, okay, so that's our, that's our, the, our, the rest of our story. I will link, I'm going to link with this in the comments of this video, um, hopefully a link to the video of Jersey J stalking me from the hill. All right, y'all. Good night. Um, good night from Maine.